what's good y'all know who it is and y'all know what it is it's your boy matthew shack live from malibu and it's the cigar talk the cigar of the day is the grand habano corojo number five it's already punched we're gonna talk about whether or not this cigar meets the criteria of a good smoke at a good price. This right here, this cigar, is a, is a combination filler between, uh, that's a Nicaraguan wrapper. It has uh, Honduran and uh, Costa Rican tobacco. You gotta watch out for this water and shit. This water get on your ass quick. So I ain't gonna waste a lot of time talking about it. I'm gonna get ready to light him up, smoke it, and let you know whether or not you should take your money and go and take one down here and do what you gotta do with it. Hold that thought. Okay, the first thing I notice on this 60 ring gauge is the licorice and powder taste from the wrapper itself, man. Like I said, the, the wrapper is, uh, is Nicaraguan, but it has that kind of taste to it. But as I start smoking on it, you get hints of, you know, hints of cedar. Uh, you get a little bit of chocolate taste as you start going down and going down the stick. But, you know, that's technical shit. You know, all that stuff is impressive to a lot of people. But to me, it's all a matter of whether or not this fits my smoking palette and whether or not it fits the budget okay uh i think i paid what like 12 dollars for this so it's not a cheap cigar but it's a well-made cigar and i trust my boys at the cigar shop that i frequent to put me up on game on things i haven't tried and that's why i'm doing this to make sure you guys know about different sticks that's out there that's affordable you know that you don't mind taking a, a beautiful day like this and come out to the beach or be at the crib, sipping on something a little cool, whatever it is you like to do after work, whatnot, and not feel like you spending 25 to $30 for that experience when you're getting the same quality. So I'm gonna keep smoking on this and I'm gonna be back in a second to holler at y'all. Now what I'm noticing off rip, man, is that the burn is even as hell, man. This, this is what I'm talking about right here. Okay, a very, very even burn. You know what I'm saying, if you can see that shit. Very even. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful burn, very even. Only had to light it one time. Quality, and it's burning slow as shit, man. <laughs> it's burning hella slow. This right here is impressive. I've smoked Cubans that don't burn this this even. And I didn't go out of my way to light it evenly either. I, I got a big ass lighter, I lit it up, and it is burning beautifully. I mean, it is burning excellent. You get this right here, man, you're gonna be chilling for a minute, all right? This is not a cigar that you're gonna burn through quick. I'm telling you, I've already been smoking it like seven minutes and it's only this much, okay? So we're gonna keep smoking it, but I, now I'm starting to really taste the chocolatey type taste, mixture of cedar. Uh, and, and, and so far, so good, man. So far, so good. You gotta try things that you don't normally try just to see, man. I don't recommend buying big ass boxes of shit unless you know that you're gonna really like the cigar if you're gonna give them out or whatnot because you get caught slipping. But so far, man, I'm, a, I, I'm very much liking this. I'll be back. Let me smoke a little bit more. All right, man. I was enjoying this cigar so much. I didn't even come back in, man. But the burn on this cigar was, it was going so nice that I thought I was going to reach all the way to the last third of the cigar, but the ash fell off. But as you can see, the ash is back. And uh, the last little bit of this cigar, the cedar came back chocolate notes came back a little bit still of the pecan flavor but this is a good cigar man it's a good it's good for the price i recommend it uh you definitely gonna have to take your time on this thing 
Okay, I've been already smoking it for 45 minutes and it is burning so great. I'm just like very impressed with the wrapper. I'm very impressed with the burn. I'm very impressed with the flavor. And in that first third, that shit had that shit had had your boy feeling it a little bit, which is what I like. I like I like that uh, medium to to uh, full body flavor. But I'm not gonna waste no more of your time. This is a cigar. This gets a salute. And uh, also, the Grand Habano is also known for having the world largest cigar, which was 19 feet and, uh, and uh, 1,200 pounds. You ain't gonna smoke all of that, neither am I, but if you want a smaller version of, of a cigar that is definitely should be in the playlist, this is it. All right, man, love all y'all out there, man. I got shit to do. Salute.